Ram in Japan. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey, what is up, everyone? How you guys doing? So on today's video, we will go to Osaka. Ako na mapansin nyo, sobrang, sobrang maulan ngayon. Kaya parang medyo nag-alangan kami nung una. Ah, uh, you know what guys, nagkaganan nga kami ng sudden change of plans. Kasi, uh, at first, ang plano ko talagang puntahan, Kyoto. Kaso lang, uh, yun nga, maulan. So, eh, yung mapupunta namin sa Kyoto, parang hindi maganda yung ambience kapag ka maulan. So, we we switch to Osaka. Ah, uh, yung sa mga nagtatanong, no, eh, nakapunta na ng Osaka. Well, iba kasi yung pinuntahan namin noon. Uh, we went to Dotonbori and to Tentaku Tower. And during night time, eh, ngayon naman, pupunta tayo sa, uh, well, mamaya ko nang sabihin sa inyo. So, you gotta stay tuned. Okay? Anyway, I'll see you guys there. guys so yun maulan pa rin dito <laughs> so ayun na ano we've just arrived the first stop natin which is Osaka Castle uh, it took us two and a half hours approximately from our place uh, medyo mabilis kasi nag expressway na kami yun nga lang medyo e may extra bayad siya but uh, wala tayong magagawa uh, guys what can you say about sa buhok ng mochi natin pakita mo naman yung buhok mo sa kanila Diba? Maganda! Great! Diba? The construction of Osaka Castle started in 1583 on the former site of the Ishiyama Hongkanji Temple, which had been destroyed by Oda Nobunaga 13 years earlier. Toyotomi Hideyoshi intended the castle to become the center of a new, unified Japan under Toyotomi rule. It was the largest castle at the time. However, a few years after Hideyoshi's death, Tokugawa troops attack and destroy the castle and terminated the Toyotomi lineage in 1615. Osaka Castle was rebuilt by Tokugawa Hidetada in 1620s but its main castle tower was struck by lightning in 1665 and burnt down. The castle tower is surrounded by secondary citadels, gates, turrets, impressive stone walls, and moats. The Nishinomaru Garden, encompassing the former western citadel, is a long garden with 600 cherry trees, a tea house, a former Osaka guest house, and nice views of the castle tower from below. Unlike most of the rest of the castle grounds, the garden acquires an admission fee. The entire Osaka Castle Park covers about 2 square kilometers with lots of green space, sports facilities, a multi-purpose arena, and a shrine dedicated to Toyotomi Hideyoshi. The park is one of Osaka's most popular hanami spots during the cherry blossom season, which usually takes place in early April. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> ano mo siyang tawanan mo? Sasabihin ka, di ba? Ay, ako ba? Oh. Ayun, so we mm. wanted to go inside the castle but uh, I think because of the COVID precautions mm -hmm. uh, ano, they try to limit, I guess mm -hmm. the people who enters the castle Oh, parang batch by batch Oo, no? oh, tapos oh. um, para maraming tao nakapila Oo oh, oh. Medyo mahaba. Mm, nakita nyo kanina, medyo mahaba yung pila. Siguro kasi it's a Sunday din as well. Um, well, uh, kung ano yung nasa loob niyan, I'm gonna leave that to your imagination. So, pagpunta nyo dito, meron kayong uh, something to look forward to. So, ayun lang guys. I'll see you sa next stop namin. Bye! <laughs> so finally, nakarating na rin tayo Well, 
From Osaka Osaka Castle, parang mga ilang minutes yun? 30 min oh, 40 minutes approximately. Ang mahirap lang dito, since it's a Sunday nga, medyo mahirap magharap ng parking lot and medyo mahal siya. So guys, pupunta kayo sa mga ganitong lugar, sa mga city halimbawa, mag talaga yun ng budget for this. Ayun. Uh, Uh, lilibutan natin ito mamaya pero sa ngayon maghahanap muna kami ng makakainan dahil sobrang nagugutom na rin kami and since it's already past 12 so yeah uh, I'll see you guys later bye Grabe, sobrang dami ng tao dito. Nakita niyo naman kanina yung mga kainan. Kanina may napuntahan tayo. No, ang sarap sana ng mga menu nila. Kaso lang, uh, parang isa lang ata siya or something. Kaya medyo matagal. Eh, nag-habol din kami ng oras. So, nauwi kami ngayon sa... Wait, pakita namin sa'yo. UFC! Wala kami kakain sa napamalakasan. Pero sa ngayon, siguro kailangan namin ng snack. Then, siguro, dun sa third stop, na lang namin kami kakain. So, ayun lang. Nakapasok na rin tayo dito ngayon sa aquarium. Grabe ang dami ng tao. <laughs> Kayu Kan is one of Japan's most spectacular aquariums, world renowned for its innovative presentation. Kayu Kan shows the aquatic animals of the Pacific Rim at their most vibrant and dynamic by recreating the natural environment of their habitats. At Kayu Kan, there are over 15 large tanks, each recreating a specific region of the Pacific Rim, taking visitors on a virtual tour of the Pacific Ocean. The tanks include Japan Forest, which recreates a sunlit, beautiful Japanese forest, the icy snowclad, Antarctica, and the centerpiece of the aquarium Pacific Ocean. A 9-meter deep, 34-meter long tank containing 5,400 tons of water, serving as the home of whale sharks, the largest fish species in the world. To enjoy a roughly two and a half hour trip around the Pacific, take the spiral ramp all the way to the 8th floor to the 4th floor leaving the land of terrestrial animals to find yourself stepping into the sea all the way to the ocean floor. Discovering marine life from the multitude of perspectives, from huge schools of fish to the wonderfully strange world of the deep sea. If you are lucky enough to be there during feeding times, you can also watch the captivating behavior of marine animals as they engage in unique training sessions designed to help them stay healthy. And now, for the main attraction of the Pacific Ocean Tank, you will see the enormous whale sharks swim peacefully alongside stingrays and hammerhead sharks while shoals of smaller fish darts among them undisturbed.
Hello you guys. So ilang hours from uh Tembozan tong next stop natin. Just just 25 minutes. Oh yeah, 25 minutes to here from Tembozan. Uh kung ano tong pupuntahan namin na next and our final stop for today's video eh gotta stay tuned pa rin, okay? See you guys there. The Omera Sky Building is a spectacular high-rise building in Kita District of Osaka, near Osaka and Omera Stations. It is also known as the New Omera City. This 173-meter tall building consists of two towers, are connected with each other by the Floating Garden Observatory on the 39th floor. The observatory offers great views of the city through its windows and from its open-air deck. In the basement, there is a restaurant floor that replicates the town of the early Showa period while offices occupy the most of the floors. On the top floor of the floating garden, you can enjoy the scenery of Osaka City. Since the observation deck is completely outside, you can get some great views of the city lights. As you make your way around the floating garden, you may notice a number of heart-shaped padlocks off the side. Omeda Sky Building is actually one of the most romantic spots in the city. Hello guys! So ayun, nagustuhan niyo ba? And umurong din ba lahat ang dapat umurong sa inyo na nakita niyo kung gano'ng kataas yung pwesto namin ngayon? Uh, anyway, Mochi, tanong kita, how was your experience ngayong araw na to? Ngayong araw? Uh, hmm. Okay lang. Hmm. Um, ano ba? Siguro mas nag-enjoy ako sa... Ano ba? Ano, ano, <laughs> sa aquarium? Aquarium, no. Mas nag-enjoy ako dito. Hmm. As a aquarium. Wala lang kasi parang ganda, di ba? Oo, tsaka yung... Nakakita ka na ba dati ng butan din? O hindi pa? Nakakita na. Sabi ko sa'yo nakakita na ako. Oo, sa Pilipinas? Sa Tokyo, alam ko meron. Wala nga sa Tokyo noon. Comment down below kung meron sa Tokyo. Oo guys, comment down below kung sa Tokyo ba meron. Kasi ang alam ko, sa Churaumi lang sa Okinawa and sa Osaka lang meron noon sa Aquarium. Hindi ko sure pero parang nakakita na ako ng butan din. Siguro, <laughs> kapitbahay. <laughs> Uy! Bad. Ayan, so mas nag-enjoy ako dito kasi gusto ko talaga yung city lights. Favorito ko talaga yung tuwing gabi. Lalo na pag nasa city. No, parang there's something na talagang enchanting kapag nakita mo yung city lights. I'm mm. sure. Mm. Tsaka iba siya dun sa Tokyo. Sa... Saan ba tayo umakit pa? Yokohama? Sa Yokohama. Umakit din tayo dun. Tapos umakit din tayo sa may Sapporo. Sa Mount, May, Mount Moa. So parang okay, mas okay to sa akin. Mm. Sitting city. Yeah. Pero ikaw, anong how's your experience today? Well, my experience is uh, one of a kind, of course. Okay, parati naman one of a kind dahil unang-una. Dahil yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, hindi pa ako nakakapunod sa mga lugar na pinuntahan natin. Except Osaka kasi. Uh, yung sa aquarium, sobrang natuwa talaga ako dahil hindi pa talaga ako nakakita ng wheel search sa personal. Ayun, tapos dito sa Manso Omega, Sky Beauty, parang first time ko din. And ako rin first time. Saktong-sakto pa din guys yung pagdating namin kasi uh, sunset na. Yung so, paggabi na talaga siya. So bukas na lahat ng ilaw ng, ng building. Sayang so, lang hindi natin na pakita yung sunset kasi sobrang dami nga ng tao sa taas. Oo, sobrang dami ng tao. Mm -hmm. Or Sunday ngayon guys, so sobrang dami ng tao. Uh, yun nga, napaalala ko lang din pala sa mga nagbabalak pumunta din sa Osaka and magda-drive. Um, maganda lang kayo ng money for parking lot and, uh, and kung nagmamadali kayo, you can 
take the expressway pero kung hindi naman mag futsu na lang kayo or mag back road uh, so that's it for our video today guys I hope you enjoyed it and if you like it give it a thumbs up leave a comment share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be notified for my newly upload videos and don't forget to check out my other social media accounts listed down below for more awesome updates so once again I'm Ram Korabayashi and Mochi Mochi signing up we'll see you soon guys bye Ram in Japan. in Japan. Like, comment, share, and, and subscribe. And subscribe.